Welcome to this special uh, episode, well, stage four. So what actually happened, if you had a look on my Twitter, if you follow me, at, uh, at PaulPads99, whatever, Trevor, I recorded the next, like, few stages, and I went to review them, and I had to upload them, and for some reason my microphone was bugged, and it didn't record any of the audio. So uh, what I'm attempting to do is edit the audio, the audio in. If you can hear this, it means I worked it out. If not, then hey, then then that's great. So anyway, let's get into the stage. Stage four, we are in the lead with Matteo Trenton. We also have Daniel Caruso in the points classification jersey. Uh, today's stage looks like we could win with uh, Ooh, Trenton. He is a favourite for the stage. The problem with me recording audio as I've waited two days after recording the stage because I was just very very annoyed so what I did was uh, I can't remember what I was saying probably something like I reckon we can get Cruz on the breakaway we can get 40 points double our lead um we got the points classification so we might put Trenton in the breakaway as well let's get into the race let's hope it loads quickly or else I'll just be sitting here going twiddling my thumbs as we go a little bit of silence, maybe. I think maybe you could skip forward 10 seconds if you really wanted to, to uh, to see what's happening. Otherwise, I have no idea what else I'm going to say. Hope this audio thing works. If not, I might just post them separately and you have to watch them together, and that would just suck. <laughs> we'll figure out how to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, right, we welcome. We go. It's an undulating route, so it this will be a tactical up. race. You can see that? Hear the that race too? will take place under a bright sun. So we've got Trenton and Caruso at the front. Trenton looks bloody brilliant in that Italian flag jersey. With Caruso next to him. I'm going to bring all the riders to the front of the peloton now. Pause them as we're going to get, ooh, probably Filippo Ghana to protect uh, Matteo Trenton. We're then going to grab maybe... Aru or Masnada. Posvivo? Posavivo to protect Vincenzo Nibali. Now we're gonna maybe if it cursor Caruso are we? Uh no, we're just gonna sit at the front seeing who attacks. Who's that next to us? It's Columbia, there's New Zealand rider attacking now. If I can remember that's Aaron Gates, is it? Nope, James Oram, let's follow him. Let's try and get in the break. Who else has come with us? He's trying to break away! It's probably a bit too early for that. Counter attack by Brandler. Brandler is coming too. Synthron. There we are, pacing 70 now with uh, James Orham. So many riders once again the break this time. Tobias Foss, Richard Zoidal. Some font file I've never heard of before. The Luxembourgish riders is just, just setting up. Oh well, since we're the real proper climber, we're pacing out in front for our leader. Trying to get this breakaway established. One minute 30, it's still going quite good. It's an attack! There's now more than a minute between the breakaway and the pack. A few more riders coming across. The Swiss riders now in the front with uh, Great Britain trying to maybe drive the pace. Michael Morkov there also. Caruso in front with Orem and. Is that Vakok? I don't know. But Ye Hurt, so it's Yen Hurt. Second bunch, anyone ma major in there? People got a decent amount of climbing. So if they catch up, they would most definitely be able to help us on the stage. Fast forward a bit, get them, get them up here. We're about 68 now with James Orham. 74. I mean, we do want the character to catch up, but we've also only got a minute back to the peloton. We've got our riders sitting on the front going 85, we don't want them to pace, so what I've done is I've reduced them to hopefully sit at a slightly lower pace so that my team's not at the front, chasing my own rider out in front. Lucas Hamilton, got the front, Aaron Gate, the sprinter's been dropped, Alex Frame, Stash, and Vorbrov of Russia. Tom Scully, the New Zealand team is most certainly in trouble. Hopefully one of the flatter stages they can do some more damage. And... The pack is putting the squeeze on the breakaway. There's 15 riders out in the front now. The pace is really hot, so for the moment, we shouldn't see too many attacks. 15 Ks till the KOM point. Who's working now? 
Lucas Hamilton of Australia, Ben Swifty, Esteban Chavez. He's got a pretty high mountain. It looks like we're catching the Luxembourgish rider, attacked by Julian Alaphilippe. He's trying to bridge up to the breakaway. Going to fast forward. It looks like he didn't make it across. We've got a 40 second gap, and we're missing the attacks by fast forwarding. That's not that's the bane of my existence. Fast forwarding, thinking nothing will happen, and then stuff happens. Oh, there's kind of a bit of a blocking blocking going on here. So I'm trying to bring Caruso back up to the front of the peloton. I'm getting him to sit in and not work because he has wasted a lot of energy doing some work early on. Once again, getting blocked this time by the Czech riders. There's now a select group of six of us out in front. Uh, we've now got back to a minute 30 on the main peloton. I know it's treated for dropping back to the peloton. So I go back and increase them back up to about 80. And in doing so, I accidentally detach everyone from each other. So Garner back on Trenton and Possibly back on Nibbly. Because at the moment, I don't care what anyone does. I just want Nibbly to be up the Orange GC and Trenton, I suppose, also. Still looking good. Keeping it up there. Tobias Foss now dropping. Only four of us left who can sprint. There's still 10 k's to go, so at the moment, going speed I'm going is too, way, way too fast. So we go down to 66. Grab some cheeky, you know, cheeky bottle of water. Use maybe get a bit of recovery there, but also make someone else do some of the work. Now I still want to pace a bit, so I'll go 60 to between 59 and 60. So we're still going up there at a speed, which is not wasting any energy. Five k's to go. Still not much happening. Maybe grab some water in the peloton, do I? Nope, just checking how steep the climb is and how far there is to go. Molema oh, has fallen. Crash. Bolke Molema, Richie Port, and Tom Dumoulin have all crashed. It's unlucky for the Dutch squad, but fortunately they all get back up and ride. Heading back up to Caruso, there's now 3Ks to the KWM. Hopefully, I elected to focus on Caruso and ignore all the bottles that would be required soon for the peloton. Looking behind, the bunch is catching up. Just, we got a gap of 2 minutes 20 apparently. But there's not much distance on the road. There's an attack. Get up there, man. Come on, Caruso. No, it's not an attack yet. Watching our energy, looks like Craddock is dead. Attacked by Watch Tobias out. Foss. A team is falling try to get on his wheel, try to get on Jan Hurt's wheel. There's an attack in the Ooh. leading group. Some riders were not giving it their all and sharing Cursor's the pace. dying. They need to put effort cursor. Looks like Tobias Foss has died, so that hopefully we can go just straight past them. 400 meters to go. We're going to try and do a cheeky sprint up here, are we? Or are we just going to roll across a uh, little sprint just to just to guarantee our, our win there? We're then going to sit up and wait for our breakaway companions. Hope. So we're going maximum points there. We'll wait for the classification to pop up on the top right. Froomey is now leading the the charge for Great Britain. Come on, grab some water, probably up the top. There you go, best climber. We are 65 points. Th 36 points ahead of Tobias Foss. Let's grab Masnada. He's down on GC. Get him to get some bottles for us. Fast forward it again, because this isn't really important. 10k is till the next climb. Our breakaway companions looking pretty shorty again. The pack really doesn't look interested in following the breakaway. Things have slowed right down. Just vibing now, I suppose. Seven k's to go. Everyone's passing us again. Go on, we've got to keep up near the front of this bunch. Can we block this? Oh, we would. Still recovering a bit. A couple Zeitz of teams have set themselves up as pacemakers for the pacemakers for the pack. They obviously don't have anybody in the breakaway group. driving the pace for us. Let's go, Mr. Caruso. Come on. Hopefully, I fast forward this a bit. There we go. It's getting a bit slow. Come on, Caruso. Get some more mountain classification points. Three k's to go. Everyone's looking pretty darn similar. There's a bit of a steep bit there, so I'm going to try and do the attack on that steep bit. Maybe we can stay away, but we've only got two minutes with 100 k's to go, so I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, 
than the steep, but now I realize I have to make a late attack, do I? Some team managers mustn't appreciate the fact that there is a break away, given that the pack has increased its and speed. And we come round now, do we? Yep, we come round and we take maximum points to the second mountain points. The now that's 79 points. Far from cordial. There are a couple early. of riders who want to go it alone. And we'll flick back and get some waters over the top, over the top just to just to be helpful. Going back to the peloton, seeing it's working. Oh, I accidentally clicked on the sprint. Uh, we'll head back there, and we looked at the, f the sprint and said, yeah, we might go for the sprint there. Fast forward, there's not much happening. Hey, Blink is on. He's playing Pro Cycling Manager 2020 as well. He'll probably be testing out uh, some stages, because he makes the stages. The fall by Michael Matthews. I didn't see that at the time, I don't think. Here we come into me at sprint, and I hop on someone's wheel, don't I? Do I? <coughs> nope, I took the sprint myself. Yep, took maximum points there, and we took the three second sprint bonus. Excellent. Now we'll just work here and hopefully stay away. So we come back, I notice that Ryza dropped. Who's this? Michael Matthews been dropped. As has uh, look. Jesper Philipson, Dumas, Alaphilippe. Laporte, Tunison, uh, Archbold maybe, um, is that Sam Bennett? Nope, Ryan Mullen. Caleb Ewan, so all the sprinters uh, didn't make it up those climbs, so I'm going, hey, hold on, we've got a sprinter. Matteo Trenton's a sprinter. We're into the second half of the race. The riders so are going like, more hey, and more on their guard. I would rather actually extend my lead in the yellow jersey or win another stage, so... Let's put uh, one of my riders on the front of the peloton. And what that means is we've got Caruso riding in the breakaway, but I've also got Masnado riding in the peloton. So I send uh, Formolo back for some water, grab some with Caruso, and I miss this whole mountain sprint thing. But... Yeah, I go check it and go, oh, buddy, we passed it. And somehow I missed that. And look at the points and go, oh, we didn't grab any. Foss grabbed seven. That's really, really unfortunate for us. But hey, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit up. I'm going to wait for the peloton. And we're going to put Caruso to help on the front. And Caruso and Masnada are going to drive the pace. So hopefully the sprinters do not catch up. I am rewinding it, just checking it's still behind. And yep, there's Michael Matthews. Still a long way behind, but... We're still going to work, we're going to increase the effort with Masnada, increase it with Caruso, and I think I grab someone else to help out as well, yep, Filippo Garner. I grab him and go, yep, he's going to have to do some work on the front now, he's a time trialist. I grab Formula O to protect Trenton. Still got Aru's only rider, Aru, Nibali, and Trenton have got nice easy rides going along. Looking back, and they're still working their heart out, but they're not catching up, which is just an amazing thing to hear. They really are moving. The pack can't get strung out too far, or it's going to start breaking up. And check the sprint classification. See what sprints are still left. Pino's in the main group. Grunewang is left behind. Ewan's behind. Christoph is in front still. Uh, Sam Bennett's still in the front bunch. Turns is still in the front bunch, and so is Gladik. And uh, Gaviria's behind. Jakobsen is still in front. So I go, hey, a lot of the sprinters are gone, but oh look, Jacobson's there on the front with us. So we yes we can kind of win, but yes we can also have a bit of a trouble. Yes, there's twenty Ks to go, but we still need water, so we'll get that done. We're still working on the front. The breakaway's got two minute lead. So what we're gonna do now is not ten Ks to go, it's a bit late, but we're gonna make our train. So we'll put Caruso in front, Father Masnada, then Ghana, then we'll probably uh Formolo. Then Trenton behind him, maybe Nibbly behind Trenton. Posavivo is going to be at the back for some reason. Don't know why Posavivo is at the back. But there's Damio Caruso, he's working hard. Javier yeah, Rue's got the, the water bottles, so he's trying to come up around the outside of us. I'm getting Mesnada ready to take over. Mesnada is ready, Mesnada takes over. As he rolls through, 
Only five kilometers left. And off he goes! He's giving it one last go! Five guys go, Masnada launches, Pozio is coming through. We're gonna use energy gel on Ghana. We're now gonna launch with Ghana. Four Ks to go. I don't know why I fast forward, I think I might must have bumped it. We're gonna put Masnada to the side, hopefully it doesn't block us. Looking out in front, Jan Hurts just in front of us with the breakaway there. I don't think we're gonna catch them. Three Ks to go, we've lost our timing, but we're gonna go up to 99 on Pozzovivo and use energy gel on everyone else. We're going to launch the sprint with Possivivo now. Tell on Possivivo, probably now. Oh, we got a 99. This win and Breakaway well took the deserved. stage, but he we're still going to sprint with everyone. Tenacity. Hopefully get some more sprint points for Trentine. And there he is there, finishing 5th and 6th with Formolo. Jakobsen in there, Nibbly in 9th. And now we wait for the sprinters to, uh, well, to come in at a, redu at a later time. Waiting for everyone to come in. Lots of sprinters lost time. Sprinters losing time isn't bad, but I mean, it's not bad, but it could definitely be a whole lot better situation. There we go. The last rider, the Kazakhstan rider. We've selected the following highlights for you. Highlights don't really care. Look at the podiums. Okay, so Yan Hurt took the stage. We're a minute 14 back with Trenton. Hopefully that didn't change much of the overall. Nope, we're still in lead with four seconds over Durant Thomas. We are leading the, the climate classification with Caruso by, what was that, 37 points to Device Foss. We also lead the points classification by, I don't know, 24 points or something. Rem Kelly's young, we've got Garner on sixth, but five minutes down, it's not going to catch up. And team classification is Italy, well, Great Britain leading us by one second. Czech Republic does the double. Good on them. So here's the results. Anyone major lose any time? Not really. Uh, well, polls, but I think he will.